there are a few tools that I'm going to talk about now, all about editing and writing. So I'm going to talk about how you can insert new pages, add a page break in, uh, use a select tool to select various information, uh, find information, remove formatting, and something which is amazing called new window. Sometimes after a table of contents, you might want to insert a new page in. So if you want to add in a new page between, let's say, your table of contents and um, the first part that you've got, so I've got word tips here, you can do so by going to insert, and you've got a choice. You can either click blank page, which will insert a page between them at blank, or page break, which is the one I usually click. And essentially, that then puts the, the next line on a new page. I would just then delete to adapt to it, so just to make sure that it's at the top. And we've got a new page there. You've got the on, on the insert column, you've got page break and blank page for adding in new pages, which can fix errors which often do come up. Um, and I've been stuck with those before I knew they existed. Um, Next tool I want to show you is something called the select tool, which is really good for checking word count uh, if you've got headings in, but also for selecting everything within a similar format and changing it. So if you go to, back to the home tab at the top, um, you can use the, the select tool over here on the right to select everything if you wanted to. Um, you can use it to select images or you've got something here called select text with a similar formatting. So I'll show you just uh, how to do that before I answer the question. So in terms of text with similar formatting, um, something which often can come up when you use headings is the headings count towards the word count in Word's mind. So if you wanted to count your word count without counting the headings in, um, I would recommend selecting a type of text that you're going to use, that you want counted, and then going over to this select tool over here and clicking select and then select text with similar formatting and that will select all the text that's formatted in that way. What it doesn't do however, it doesn't select text that's formatted in a different way. So if you see this bit here, this hasn't been selected so that wouldn't have been counted in that in the word count 609 down here. So if you do want, if something is missed, simply click the control key and then select it yourself and it'll stay selected with everything else. So the next thing I want to tell you about is something called the find tool and then the find and replace tool, which are really useful for editing a document. So the find tool is up here on the home page, up on the right, and is really useful for finding information within that matches the criteria and then you can swap it. So something that I use the find tool for is to see how many times I've used a phrase. So if you click it, it takes you to the navigation page. So I'll just close that temporarily. Click find and it opens the navigation pane up and I can then look for specific things. So if I'm going to type, so I use this for two things. One, removing things um, which I've used too much and two, for shortening things that I've used too much. Actually, the third thing, I use it for finding information and finding a specific part if I can't find it or remember where it is. Um, so if I go to the find tool, it opens up navigation pane and then I can search, let's say I want to search um, 365. So then it comes up once, it says I've only used Microsoft 365 once, which means that I need to then rename Office 365 because they've changed the name of it recently. So if I now search for Office, I can see all these times when I've used the word Office have been highlighted, so just once. So I can then manually replace that myself if I wanted to. If I go to the replace tool though, which is also here, um, you can then use the replace tool to remove certain words uh, and change something with something else. So I've clicked, so I've typed in here, find what office, and I might say replace with 365. If you click find next, it takes you to every time you've done that, and then you can just replace. Um, because you can just replace all, but Sometimes you might have just use the word office in a different way, so I wouldn't always replace all. I go through it manually. Again, if I want to search for another thing, let's say therefore is the, always the thing that I use. I used it. Uh, let's say the word it. It will find it even when it's in part of a word, not the whole word. So that's the find tool. I would also also when you're looking for specific things, I think it can be really useful. And that's also the replace tool. Uh, I want to show to you is the um, 
what is it? It's the remove formatting. I see you've got a question there. Can you also see I your like mouse moving? Yeah, f f yeah, you, your mouse is fine. Uh, Vanelli came back just with clarification on the early question. She just wants to know how to move, remove the blank page. Yeah, sometimes work can be finicky, so I'm just going to insert a blank page here. Not done it. Insert blank page. There we go. Um, you just got to go to the top part of it and click backspace until it gets removed. Sometimes it doesn't always play ball. And I've noticed that sometimes on formatted documents that are formatted by that you've used that are part of like a standard format. Um, but badly formatted documents can um, cause issues with that. So what I would do is then if it's not deleting, I would highlight the parts, see if you can highlight anything and use something, a tool, which is actually the next thing I was going to talk about. Um, copy and paste. And we're going to copy and paste the ch um, just up to the parts where no one's names are. So I'm going to copy and paste the chat in here. So if you see, I've just copied and pasted the chat, and it's just and it's just come through like that, and it's not really usable because it's got the blue background and whatnot. So if I go to um, I think it's the home page. So if I go to the home page. There's a tool here with an eraser next to it. I don't think many people use very often. And it's called clear all formatting. So for all the things that I've selected, it will remove all the formatting for them. So if I click there, it now removes the issues that I had. So I wanted to select the text on the chat. Isn't it, it, when I selected it, it inserted different, it had different fonts. It had uh, a blue background. Now I've just got the text. It's all in the font that I would be used usually. So I can just delete everything uh, that I wouldn't want. Um, and then I have that there, easily done. So if you are copying and pasting something from our website, which I wouldn't always recommend, but if you are copying and pasting something from something external and it comes up in weird with weird backgrounds and weird things, you can click the clear formatting button and it'll put it in the font that you use the size that you use, and it will move any things from the background and so on. So I'm going to delete all of that. So hopefully that's a useful tool that you will think will be useful at some point. So another useful tool is something called New Window, which I only discovered quite recently. So if you go to the View button, um, on over here, there are different things. There's something here called New Window, Arrange All, and Split. And these are actually incredibly useful. And that is because sometimes when you're using one document, but you're using it at two points, let's say you've used, um, you want to see one part of a document, but you also want to see another, instead of having to scroll between the two, you can actually open your document twice on the same computer. So if I click new window, uh, on my other screen, I now have this. Uh, so if I just put this over here and this over here, so I've now got the same document open twice and it live syncs it. So if I change something here, oops. So if I don't type this in here, it's updated on both screens. So what's really useful for this is it means that you can essentially see two parts of your document at the same time. So let's say I wanted to use the notes on the word tips here for the tools whilst writing an essay. Um, I'll show you that again, yeah. Um, so let's say you wanted to see that um, two things at once. So you wanted to see two, two parts of the same document at the same time. Let's say, I don't know, you're copying something over from one part repeatedly, um, or you wanted to take some parts of something. Uh, you can see that by um, going to the full screen, uh, by going to the view panel and then going to new window. And it will create a new window here and I'll have the same document open twice. They both live edit and they all work. Again, would you want to ask the question in the chat? And then I can help with that. Um, 
cool it's a really really good thing like i use it so much so much on my course um because i'm often using the same document and it's so often they i make i answer one question i answer the question with the brief in the same document to answer the thing instead of having to open a new document it's all there one place um so yeah i would really recommend it and if you once you're done with it you can simply just close it and it's fine it's all fixed um can you do that with two documents um well with two documents you can you can just have them both open at the same time uh which so i don't know let's say i wanted to open another document let's just open let's open this so th these are two different documents you can just open them on the same screen and you can have them side by side like this so you can actually open it and have it and if you just pull it to one side of the screen and then pull the other to the other side or just click full screen you can split you can have two documents open on one screen alternatively just use two screens because two screens are amazing and i would highly recommend using two screens um cool so those are the tips that i had for editing a word document